Manual folding ranges in VS Code let you fold arbitrary sections of a file. This is useful if you're working with code that does not have smart folding ranges, or if you want to fold something that is not included in one of those smart folding ranges. Let's take a look at this in this TypeScript file. So normally VS Code will try to compute smart folding ranges and it'll use extensions or a grammar to do so. So if I go over and look at the uh, static method here and I go over to the gutter, you can see I have these little chevrons. These are the folding indicators. I can go and collapse down that entire method body so it is all hidden and then go click on the chevron again to expand it. So those are being provided automatically by extensions or by the grammar. However, if I want to fold something that is not included in one of those smart folding ranges, such as this entire block of static declarations here, when I go over to the gutter, you'll notice that there's no little chevron. That's where manual folding ranges can be useful. So to get started, I'm going to go and select the entire block that I want to fold. So I'll have my selection there. Now I'll open up the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P and say manual fold. And I want the create manual folding range from selection command here. When I run this, it has gone and introduced a new folding range for my current selection. So you can see that it has gone and automatically folded that. When I expand it back, you can see that the folding range has been kept around. So I can go and click on that little chevron to go and uh, fold it back down again. Now, again, the nice thing here is that I can fold arbitrary sections of my code. So I could just go and select these lines, for example, open the command palette again, and say create manual folding range from selection. There's also a key binding. On Mac, the key binding is command K, command comma. So you press the two together or on Windows and Linux, it'd be control K, control comma. So you could use that key binding to speed things up. And now I've gone and introduced one of these manual folding ranges. Now these folding ranges are going to be kept around even if you unfold them. So as we were looking at before, I can still go and have that folding range. Even if I go and make edits, for example, that folding range will stick around. Once I'm done with the folding range, however, I can go and clear them. So to do that, I'm gonna make a selection that includes my folding ranges here. Then I'm going to open up the command palette with control shift P or command shift P search for manual fold again. And this time I want the remove manual folding ranges command. And this is going to remove the manual folding ranges that I just created. You can see that it unfolded that one. And if I go and hover over in the gutter, I no longer have the two folding ranges that I just defined. So that's how you can use VS Code's manual folding ranges to fold arbitrary sections of your code.